In this video, I'll explain how to make 8-bit NES-style sound effects using FamiTracker. My name is Matthew Ivick, and I've used FamiTracker to create hundreds of sound effects for games appearing across multiple platforms. This video is a step-by-step -step guide to make 8-bit sound effects, so if you're new to sound design, this guide is for you. If you're completely new to FamiTracker, or would rather make music instead, I've included a link to my FamiTracker tutorial below. You'll also find a link to all the sounds created in this video. Lastly, be sure to stick around until the end of this video where I'll reveal a hidden FamiTracker effect. Creating sound effects isn't that different from creating music in FamiTracker. We still need an instrument and we'll still program various sound data in the pattern window. The big difference is the speed setting we'll be using. The speed setting determines how fast each row is executed. The lower the number, the faster the tempo. Most music will use speed setting between 3 and 6. However, for sound design, we'll be using speed 1. Sound effects are often very short and sonically interesting. This is perfect for speed 1, which allows us to input the maximum amount of detail in the pattern window. This is sort of like zooming in on an image. We see more detail, but less of the canvas. In 8-bit sound design, often we rely on small musical fragments to get the job done. For example, to make a traditional coin sound effect, we only need to program a perfect fourth in the pulse wave channel. From here, we can play with the duty cycle, volume, and other parameters to customize it to our project. The triangle channel is often associated with rising and falling sounds and spacey high-pitched effects. The triangle channel is always set to the max volume, so take care to mix these sounds appropriately. Here are a few examples. A lot of effects use the noise channel. By programming various notes in this channel, we can create progressive sounds that might be suitable for sword swipes, rain, opening chests, and more. Here are a few more examples. If we want to use sound effects made outside of FamiTracker, but the fidelity is too high, we can use the DPCM channel to downsample it. Help DPCM man, my house is on fire. Hey kid, that seems to be the problem. How can I help? I said help, my house is on fire. I can't help you, I can only sample things slightly. Sorry. You may have noticed that almost all our sounds are rather dry and punchy. If we were to create sounds for a spacious cave or a dungeon hall, these really might not be desirable. This is where our secret sound design weapon comes in. Reverb. In FamiTracker, reverb isn't a pre-programmed effect. Rather, we must manually enter pitches to emulate this effect. We can do this by repeating our sounds at a quieter volume level. If we want our sound to have a longer decay, we can include more repeats. The general rule of thumb here is to have the volume level on each repeat halved. So a volume of 12 would become 6 on the first repeat and 3 on the second. The pulse channels share the same sound quality, so it's common to also share repeats between the two channels. We can also interpolate our echoes between notes and a phrase, like so. This is a simple process, but extremely powerful in sound design. To improve your sounds even more, don't be afraid to play and learn from others. A great way to get 8-bit sound design ideas is to listen to your favorite games and try to emulate them in FamiTracker. The original NSF files of these sounds are readily available online. You can import them using NSF import and see how close you came to replicating the sounds. If you'd like to learn more about sound design and FamiTracker, consider checking out my book, FamiTracker Fundamentals, where I cover everything you need to know about FamiTracker. If you found this video useful at all, consider subscribing. The subscribe button's right below. Also, what's your favorite NES sound effect? I think it'd be interesting to do a challenge where I try to recreate some of the most popular effects, so leave your favorite effects in the comments below and maybe they'll show up.